Oh. But first, we are just days away from getting the first doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine here in Connecticut. Frontline health care workers will be among the first who offer the shot. So will all of them take it? Will you? What's the protocol as more and more people start to get this shot? To help us answer some of these questions is Jeff Flax. He's the CEO of Hartford Healthcare, a system with hundreds of locations all over the state. Mr. Flax, thanks for joining us on Face the Facts. Thank you. Good morning, Mike. First up, will you be getting the shot, and how do you determine which staff members get it first? Certainly, I will be getting it, and I'll be getting it as soon as I'm eligible uh, and it's available to me. Uh, we're administering it. Look, it's coming Sunday, uh, we believe, on site, uh, and we'll be administering it starting on Monday. Uh, so it, it initially will go to critical care, people working in critical care, in our emergency departments, uh, in the places where, where we're taking care of the most COVID patients, where there's the highest risk. Uh, but Mike, Mike, this is an incredible day. Uh, today, today, in fact, is exactly uh, nine months from when we had our first patient. Uh, and to imagine nine months later that we're here administering the first vaccine, the ingenuity that's been, dis been displayed uh, in our scientific community in this country, uh, it's just it's amazing. And some of my physicians equate it to putting a man on the moon to do this in nine months. It's just really a phenomenal accomplishment. We have heard that in some of the news conferences. One of the things that happened early on in this crisis was the concern about PPE. And in that concern, some of the people who said they were left out in the beginning were the cleaning crews, the people who go in and clean these COVID rooms before the next crew can come in. Will they be on the front lines when it comes to the shot? Absolutely. So uh, when you look at where this is being administered, uh, it's to all people who engage. And, you know, as it relates to PPE, it's another example where there's been tremendous advancements. Uh, we, we've built up a tremendous stockpile of PPE within our health system uh, to the point that we've had to get new warehouses uh, to, to store as much PPE as we have. So I want to first be clear that P, the, the country and the world has pivoted. There's far much far more PPE available in places like us have done everything possible to bring it here to Connecticut. Uh, but when, when we administer this vaccine, it's going to go to the people who are most at risk in uh, the people who are supporting all of our capabilities. And when you describe uh, the people who work in food services, environmental services, housekeeping, uh, biomedical technology, all essential members of our healthcare teams, and they will be getting the vaccine early in the process as well. So we know from the governor and from governors around the country that both CVS and Walgreens are on board to start administering these first doses of vaccines. Okay. Urgent care clinics are all over the place, and Hartford Health has them. Will they be in the mix as well eventually? Sure. Uh, as we get to the next level, we're going to use all of the resources we have in Hartford Healthcare. Uh, we're going to use, you know, we, we have the state's largest home care company. Uh, we have the largest urgent care delivery system. Uh, we're going to use all of our resources, including our hospitals. Uh, we, we have nine drive-through testing locations across Connecticut, and we're going to figure out the ways to make it most accessible, most efficient, and to get it to the community as fast as it possibly can. And we know all of us are humans. We're getting sick of this pandemic and the protocols and what we have to do to keep our distance. Um, and that includes people who work in hospitals, too. So, as you know, Bacchus Hospital in Norwich was recently cited for not keeping up with the protocols. Six months into this pandemic, there was a report that said patient techs weren't wearing the masks properly, gowns as well, and staff members ended up testing positive for COVID. How are things now at Bacchus, and should patients and families feel safe about it right now? Our hospitals are very safe, uh, extraordinarily safe. We urge all people who need care, who, 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 I mean, that's one of the things during this pandemic to see in the early stages, there were so many people not coming to hospitals. Uh, and I, and I, when I round in our emergency departments to hear our staff say that they're taking care of patients who came with a stroke three days too late. So they, they have permanent disability. And, you know, had they been there the first day, they would have left, uh, really largely very well. Uh, so we urge people to come to our institutions uh, and, and the precautions are in place. Uh, and, and I just want to recognize our staff, the resilience that our staff shows working under these very difficult conditions. Uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's incredibly inspiring to see people working in healthcare today over a nine month period 
under great, intense, difficult conditions. And the work they do is absolutely extraordinary. In the beginning of the pandemic, because of fear and because of trying to tack and, and take the uh, disease head on, uh, hospitals canceled all elective surgeries and some of the procedures you just mentioned. Have we shifted enough where we can keep, because that also keeps hospitals financially afloat, can you keep elective surgeries in normal care if somebody comes in for a car accident or a heart attack, keep going as we see the surge this winter? Well, Mike, importantly, uh, trauma, heart attack care, stroke care, people delivering babies, uh, uh, these services were never disrupted. And it's one of those great examples in terms of the recognition of, our, of, of all of our colleagues working in healthcare. We've never stood down those types of services. Uh, but when we think about surgeries that, that were postponed or early in the pandemic, uh, we're about access. We want to do everything possible to use all of our capabilities to ensure that all people in our community have access to care. So we have to balance safety. We have to ensure and we monitor it daily that we can continue to provide these services safely and that we have the right capacity to care for all the patients who are coming to us with COVID-19. Uh, but today, in this moment, we are able to balance that and we are able to continue to provide effectively all services to our community, which is what our ambition is. And it's what we want to do uh, and to the extent we can safely continue to do it, we will. Jeff Lack, CEO of Hartford Healthcare, thanks so much for joining us on Face the Facts, and I hope you stay healthy and good luck getting the vaccine. Mike, thanks.